Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Cultivating Creation. I'm your host, Evan Akins, and I had mentioned in the last video that I might say a word or two more about gates. Uh, last video we had posted on our first project on the new farm. Uh, we had hung a 16 foot metal gate. That was our main entry and exit point. And I got to thinking, maybe some of you that are viewers uh, you got a new place, you're leasing a place. Anyway, you're thinking about gates. And I actually did a little bit of research and just kind of Googled some thoughts on, on gates. And it's crazy what you find out there. Uh, you know, suggestions for four and six and eight and, and 10 foot gates, you know, on the World Wide Web. And uh, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts. And uh, basically with uh, a place that you're wanting to cultivate, uh, your farm, your lease, whatever, the place that you have access on uh, legally to manipulate, I guess we need to say that, uh, you want to stay away from any kind of four or six or eight or even a 10 foot gate. Uh, these smaller gates should be reserved for uh, interior gates, if at all. Uh, you think about those smaller gates, if you're wanting to get any kind of equipment in and out of that place, if you want to get any kind of crop, such as on our place, we're going to be eventually, at some point in the future, we're going to be cutting trees off of there. Uh, if you're wanting to get 18 wheelers in and out of that, um, four, six, eight, 10 foot gates have no place as your main entry and exit. Uh, it was way, way too narrow. You, you might think about 12 and even 14 gate foot gates as uh, maybe even too narrow. Uh, maybe in certain spots, maybe it, it would work, but uh, I would think if you go with a four, or four or 12 or 14 foot gate, uh, you're going to be pulling up those gate posts and, and you're going to be moving them to make for a wider gate is probably what's going to happen. So when you're thinking about your main entry and exit point on your place, if you have the ability legally to do it, if it's your place, uh, if you have permission to do that, you need to think wider is better. Wider is better. I mean, just think about all the things that at some point in time you want to make bring on your place. Uh, skidders, 18 wheelers, cars, trucks, uh, anything like that. Uh, you're going to need a good wide gate that you can swing all the way out and get anything in and anything out that you want. And so for our case, uh, we had a 16 foot gate existing. Now it wasn't hung. It was laid off to the side and we had to turn it around and do all kinds of work, but it was there. And 16 foot is going to be a pretty good size um, if you've got direct access. So on our place, the old county road ends at our gate. Uh, and so 16 foot is plenty wide enough for oncoming and outgoing traffic. Uh, now, I did think about an exception to that where you might want to go even wider, say a 20 foot gate. Uh, we have a place on our, we have a gate on our place in Pike County uh, that is adjacent to the road. In other words, trucks and everything have to turn, make a hard turn left into there. And we put that gate at 16 foot and it actually could be wider. It actually is. And we've had this before. We've had uh, forestry mulchers and all come and we've had guys have to swing out and it's close when they're coming in. So if you've got to turn into your gate, you may want to think about even a 20 foot gate. So here's some ideas. If uh, direct access, you're thinking about a 16 foot gate, you don't have a gate. Uh, a neat idea would maybe be buy two eight foot gates and you can swing them out, swing them in, uh, lock them in the middle. Uh, maybe if you have 20 foot, of course, you could do two 10 foot gates, swing them out, swing them in, lock them in the middle. Uh, but again, back to the idea, you need to think, uh, especially for that main entry and exit gate, wider uh, is better. And, and I'll say this, even if it means a little more expense, even if you have to buy a little bit larger gate, uh, you have to pay for uh, the gate post and all to, to hang it on. Uh, it, it's going to be worth your time to save you the effort later on uh, if you go with a little bit wider gate. So just some things to think about, about uh, the gates for the ingress and egress into your property. Wider is better. But as I begin to think about that and uh, the more spiritual side of our conversation here on cultivating creation, it struck me as odd, uh, maybe I'll say interesting, that Spiritually speaking, uh, the exact opposite is true. Uh, we said for our gates going in and out of our property, wider is better. But interesting, uh, scriptures 
say the exact opposite. So I've got my Bible open today in Matthew 7, 13 through 14, and I'd like to read it to you. And Jesus speaking here says, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And there are many who enter into it. For the gate is small, and the way is narrow that leads to life, and there are few that find it. Isn't it interesting that spiritually speaking, we don't need a, a wide gate and a broad way. We need a narrow gate and a narrow path. And, uh, you know, we can talk a lot about what Jesus is saying there, but really you just have to look around in our world and, and listen and listen to what society tells you. Listen to what this world tells you. And it tells you to, to live your own life, do your own thing, live life how you want to live it, follow your heart and all these things. And the more we study scripture, the more we see how erroneous and how uh, very dangerous those thoughts are. And the more we study scripture, the more we hear things like Jesus say in John 14, 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but my me. And you hear that very restricted access through the gate. And, um, I was preaching here recently in my church, and I said uh, the, the entryway into heaven only goes through the cross of Calvary. And that is a very narrow gate and a very narrow way and uh, unfortunately there are few comparatively speaking that find it and so i just want thought i'd share that word with you today and uh, if you don't know uh this narrow gate and if you're not walking along this narrow path i would love to hear more from you and uh, i would love to know how i could serve you and tell you more about jesus who says i am the way the truth and the life um, i'd encourage you if you find yourself walking on uh, that broad way, entering through that broad gate, and you're looking around, and you're living your life, and you're doing your own thing, and you're finding out it's not really working, uh, you know what? There's a reason why, and if we can help you in that, we'd love to. I hope you're in, enjoying this day, uh, enjoying getting ready, and, and getting ready for the upcoming season, and, and putting in your plots, and entering through that gate, and all these things. I, I hope today's conversation has been helpful about gates uh, for your place, but most importantly, for your person. I hope you'll join me again next time. We've got a lot to talk about as uh, projects are continuing on. Uh, things are happening at the farm. Uh, seems like on a daily basis, but certainly on a weekly basis as time is drawing nigh here to enjoy the fall season. So hope you're having a blessed day. Thank you for joining in.